don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 All right, homies at home, Matt. So we in Metro Flex, the house that Ronnie built. It's the Mecca in Texas. You can't talk about Texas and fitness without mentioning Ronnie Coleman on Metro Flex Arlington. We got my brother here, Josh Wise, Mr. Wise Up from the Wise Up brand, owner, right here. <laughs> Gonna go train some back. Tell them where you're from and where they can find you. Hey, I'm at uh, Original Metro Flex. I train here. You can find me on uh, Instagram underscore Josh Wise. You can find my apparel, wiseup-apparel.com. You see the belt. Hippies ahead to wear the crown. Absolutely. You see the stamp. Absolutely. It's on me and it's in me. Yeah. But now we got back today. My boy Chris Jones done brought me back for round two. Yeah, yeah. Back then, it's been what, seven years? It's six been years? amazing a while. Since 2016. Yeah. Hey, but it's round two. We, we a little better, stronger, and wiser now. Absolutely, guys. So I'm here back to my roots, trying to get back to where my roots is. Because sometimes when you stop losing a passion for something, you got to remember why the fuck you started. And seeing those old Ronnie Coleman videos, man, while I'm eating my bodybuilding meals, <laughs> dude, that shit would get me fired up. So I'm like, wow, what better way to get that spark on my cut than to come right here to the place where I used to watch when I was a young man. And right now I'm wearing gray. Because when you wear gray, you can see the sweat. See, I want you to see my pain. I want you to see my sweat. That's why I'm wearing gray. I want you to see my blood. I want you to see the bloods going through my vessels on my vessel. You feel me? Because this is blood, sweat, and years, motherfucker. I'm going to show you my blood. I'm going to show you my sweat. But I will not show you my motherfucking tears. Let's go. <laughs> Good to see you. Dad. <laughs> and I'm happy for you. And, and very successful still. Yeah, what? It's the people, man. Yeah. That's why I'm always putting them first. Yeah, yeah. He's fed, man. Always fed Half. I forgot how hot it is in this motherfucker. I'm already drained. It's time to bring the motherfucking pain, baby. It's time to tap in. I'm going beast mode. Let's go full school. My turn. It's on now. No turning back now, motherfucker. All right, homies and home met. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, I got it written in the very bottom of the description for you. And if you're watching this on Instagram, I got this shit on the screen so you can pause it and write it down. You understand? Instagram and my captions, I got to put my businesses up in that bitch. You feel me? But I got it on the screen for you. If you're watching my shit on YouTube, very bottom of the description, I got you taken care of. I want you guys to watch these workouts and I want you guys to follow along. All right, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, go to beastmode316.com. If you want the high volume training experience, download one of my programs and follow along. Myself personally, I'm doing the four days on, one day off. I've been loving the way I train. I like that way. I've been doing that for the past, what, like four to five years. I absolutely enjoy it, but all my programs are good. All of them are high volume. Go ahead and check it out and fuck with it, all right? And I'll be sure to throw some more in there later too and some more meal plans when I get the time. So after we did our pull-ups, guys, we did pull-ups, we did three different variations just to get started up. About nine sets of pull-ups, guys. Three different hand placements, all right? And then we went on to these rows for the hoes. Started out with some T-ball row. I haven't done this in a while. I forgot how much I enjoy it. You know, you're able to really get heavy rows in without throwing your lower back out. You know, when you do those barbell rows, you gotta really be strong in that lower back. You gotta make sure you keep that spine nice and tight because if you start jerking and rocking, you can actually hurt your back. I've actually had a few friends that have uh, hurt their lower back just from rolling, you know, so be careful, all right? So, after we did the um, 
We did our wide grip T-bar rows with the chest support. We went ahead and did some seated row. As you see, parallel grip. And we doing this to get the upper back some more. You know, we did the upper back with the wide grip row. But that closer grip is gonna help us get up inside the back, you know, up in the rhomboid area, you know, that scapular retraction. As you see, I got me some entry pump BCAs. My BCAs had electrolytes. And as I told you earlier, it was hot. So those electrolytes, those minerals are gonna help me get hydrated. Be sure to fuck with those BCAs and they taste good. All right, so we on the uh, bent over T-ball row. Slightly closer grip. Trying to get into the lower lats, rhomboid area. And we're using this handle right here. I believe it's called the Back Widow. And uh, Flex Wheeler, he promotes it a lot on his Instagram. So, my first time trying it. You know, I've only tried it once. You know, I can't really say if I like it or not. You know, I will have to try it with more row variations, more pull down variations. But for the most part, it was cool. You know, I enjoyed it. Now, we're on to the one arm hammer strength row. You can either do dumbbells or you can do hammer strength, whatever you prefer. You know, it just depends what kind of mood I'm in, to be honest with you. Sometimes I'm in a mood where. I don't feel like doing dumbbells. I don't feel like having to balance my weight on a bench. Some of just want to bang out some heavy weight, and I'll just do the hammer strength row. Either way, it's fine. Just make sure you're using good form and you're stretching those lats. All right? Now we're doing some pull down, pull down movements, vertical movements. Just two. As you saw earlier, we already did pull ups. You know, that's why I've been doing a lot of pull ups lately. I want to get that muscularity on my back, and I want that functional strength. You know, you really want that good detail, you guys. You gotta take that back and hit it from different angles. Okay, so we did the vertical movements and the horizontal movements for back. Now we're gonna finish off with some rack pulls. Guys, it is very important to strengthen the muscles around the spine. So as you see, we're taking our spine through extension, under load. So we're pretty much getting some good depth in the back. We're getting those erectors, we're getting those traps, and we're just going overall, stimulating a lot of muscles in the back. All right, like I said, you want a quality back, hit those angles, all right? After we hit our rack pulls, finished off with a little traps because traps is part of the back, and there you go. Fuck your shit up, guys. Fuck my ass up. Tell them one more time they can find you. We're going to close this shit out. Hey, I'm the score Josh Wise, apparel, wiseup apparelcom Fuck with me. Be fuck with me, y'all. Fuck with me. Already, baby. This guy right here is a real deal. As you see, he got his show in his chest. He believes in his brand. You feel me? He got a tattoo on his chest. If, if you don't believe it, nobody will believe. You feel me? Wait, wait, guys. You already know. TigerFitness.com. Get your pump and grind. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Get ho ready. And holler back at your boy.